Number four, the polygons in each pair are similar. You're going to find the scale factor from the small figure to the large figure. I want you to be very careful here. The small figure to the large figure. This means that the small figure is considered to be the old to the large figure is going to be the new. Okay, I want you to understand that. Old is the small, the new is the large. So in this one, this is the old, which is the small, and the new one is this one. Because the scale factor K is considered to be new over old. All right. So now we have to do is we can just grab a pair here. We can say K is 16 over 40. This is, if you do this in the calculator, it is 0 0.4. That's the scale factor here, or you can say two or five, okay? Let's check one more time. Let's do 14 here and 35. Those are corresponding. So 14 over 35, 14 divided by 35, that is also 0 0.4 or two over five, okay? So that's the scale factor. All right, B, okay? This is the old and this is the new. Scale factor K is defined by new over old. All right, let's just grab so we can just flip. Five and 25 is corresponding. So five over 20, it's new over old. So new is 25, old is five. This gets you five. And then let's do this one, five and five. Same thing, 25 over five, scale factor is five. So here, the scale factor is five. Next, let's take a look here. This is the old and this is the new. Scale factor K is defined by new over old. We have 18 and 30, so K is 30 over 18, which can be simplified into, um, five over three or roughly 1.67, okay? And then we can do 18 and 30, K is 18, nope, 30 over 18 which is the same about five over three or equivalently 1.67. There you go. Notice all these scale factors are bigger than one because you're going from the small to the largest. They're all enlargements.